Water pollution comes from different sources. The less obvious one is what is called non-point source pollution. In other words, that means it comes from all of us. Whatever we do on land directly affects the quality of the water. Another challenge that Pennsylvanians face is to reduce the runoff from farmland into creeks and streams. From Mansfield, I traveled to Tyrone in southeastern Pennsylvania and visited a dairy farm. There, I found out that controlling this kind of pollution is easier than what it seems. One of the problems with farming that can affect the quality of water is that the manure from cows can lead into the streams. So these guys have implemented stream bank fencing to help prevent that. You could tell me what that is exactly. Well, I guess it's just you know a barrier that's built to keep the animals away from the streams, so the streams can uh, reestablish themselves. You know, the vegetation can start growing again and uh, hold down erosion and keep the animals out of the creek. It was pretty you know, muddy around here at times, and with the with the stream running through there, you knew that wasn't good. And then. Our father had um, been approached that there was money available through the Chesapeake Bay to um, pour cement and put up fencing to keep the cows out of the stream and obviously keep manure from being washed down the river. So he just thought, heck, get to clean this place up. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's exactly. right. Yeah, that's exactly. Right. Yeah. So what did, you, what did you guys think of it when he was doing that? Well, I mean, obviously it it's better for the for the animal health as far as foot-wise and stuff and, and anything that can make life better for the, for the animal will all ultimately make life better for us. And was this something you realized would be a problem for the water? Did you think that this water could lead into somebody else's water? I guess you can't say you probably never thought about it, but you just didn't realize that the, the problem could be as severe as what, you know, is what it, you know, could be, but then they they had the proof. You know, they could dish the nutrients out of the bay and say, "Look, you know, it's it's cow manure." This is cow number seventy-two yeah, from yeah. your farm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> get her out of the stream. It makes for a pretty picture. Mm -hmm. You know, the cows like. I think the cows enjoy standing in water. Yeah. It's cool, mm -hmm. but I think that's about all it does. It makes a pretty picture. Yeah. Do you? Is there a way to still give them that that coolness? Oh, they can way? go. They can go up. They go up there and lay in the woods yeah, where the shade. it's shaded, oh, yeah. you know. Do you think this makes sense for more farmers to, to do? Oh, I, think I would think so. Great idea. With the cost sharing available through the county, you know, I just wouldn't hardly know why a farmer wouldn't want to do mm -hmm. it. So is this the stream back here? Correct. And it's probably not going to be the the cure for the Chesapeake Bay problems, but it's got to be a start. Yeah, it's hard to, you know, it's such an overwhelming problem yeah. that oh, yeah. everybody says, I uh, don't bother, yeah. but yeah. little and by little, I guess, right? Right. Oh, yeah, I mean, you got to do it, I mean, one farm at a time. Before ending my trip, I wanted to relax and explore a little bit more of the Susquehanna River. So I headed out to Harrisburg, and there I met some of the people who created the Susquehanna Water Trail. Jump, jump, jump and die. Everybody come alive. Jump, jump, jump and die. Makes you think you're in the sky. A water trail is basically the same as a hiking trail, with access points and camping sites marked for the public. This is Pennsylvania's first water trail, and it runs from Halifax to Harrisburg. Along this 24 miles of the Susquehanna, you can camp on its islands and have the opportunity to see some wildlife. The trail started as a partnership from different organizations with a common goal, to get people to explore and respect the water and to promote stewardship of our most precious resource. One thing I realized on this trip is that our own actions, good or bad, affect the health of the bay. Although the Chesapeake is on the road to recovery, there's still a lot of work to do, and it will take each and every one of us to help restore it. <laughs>